Guys, Clean Blade here, bringing another Pokemon TCG online video, and today we're going to be looking into the new deck, which has just recently got into the Nationals Finals right now, and this is Wailord Suicune. So it's a deck out deck, it's a very slow paced deck, you're just preventing your opponent from taking prizes, and you just slowly but surely deck them out, and that's your entire goal of the deck, there's nothing more to it. You just stall and stall and stall until your opponent decks out and you win from that by keeping Wailord and Suicune alive. So let's just jump straight into the deck profile. We're running three Suicune EX with Safeguard just because it walls those EX Pokemon and sometimes your opponents don't even run outs to it and you can just win off a of Suicune alone. If they run Verbank Laser, it doesn't matter. You run three Suicune. They take multiple lasers to kill one Suicune. Then on top of that, we're also running sacred ash later on so you can always get back those sweet coons if you didn't if you like lost all of them so why not run three sweet coons and then we're running four whale lord ex has the big 250 hp we don't even run energy in this deck we don't even use it as an attacker we don't attack whatsoever this deck is nothing but a pure defensive machine and we just sit back and basically wall everything so let's jump into the item cards right away we're running one computer search the only difference between my deck and what's going on in the national finals is that i run computer search over dowsing machine and i don't run another max potion i decided to run another trick shovel so it kind of changes the way we play a little bit but we're running the one computer search i think it's worth running so why not then we're running three enhanced hammers. This card's just really good in the format. We get to discard the du the double color synergies, the DDEs, the strong energies. So why not run three? It's pretty, pretty good right now. Then we're running the three max potions, as I was talking about before. You just heal all your HP for no drawback. So we aren't running any energy in the deck. So why not just do that? We literally just heal 250 damage off of Whale Lord, but 240 technically if we wanted to. So yeah, why not? We're running one Sacred Ash just to help get back our Pokemon. Yes, occasionally your Pokemon die. It happens. It's Pokemon. Your Pokemon dies, stuff like that. So we do run that Sacred Ash because Trump Guard is banned, sadly. I mean, it's a really good deck though. The ball uh, tech, should I say. And it's a good deck. Sacred Ash is just one of those cards where if you're running low on Pokemon, it's really good to draw into. Then we're running one Megaphone. Basically, it just stops Garbodor. Because a lot of decks are probably going to start running Garbodor. Because a lot of people for Nationals that I saw didn't really have Safeguard outs. So, they really couldn't get around Suicune and Sigilyph and stuff like this. So... I have a feeling Garbodor is going to start coming back a little bit, so the Starling and Megaphone is going to be good again. Then, as I said before, we're running two Trick Shovels. I chose two Trick Shovels over four Max Potions just for a little bit of, uh, how do I put this, mill power a little bit. I think it's really good. It gives us the little bit of the lead that you need in the deck, if you get what I'm saying. That is just enough where if... Your opponent's not going to deck out before you, let's say. You get double trick shovel, and now all of a sudden you're like a card or two ahead, and you win just because of that. So that is very key in this deck. And then we're also running four VS Seekers. We run like 30-something supporters or somewhere around there like that. So VS Seekers is really, really good. Four of them, why not? Then we're running... For AZ, this just picks up a Whale Lords or Suicunes, removes all the damage off of it. It's basically another four max potions essentially in this deck, so why not? Then we're running four Cassius. Once again, it's just like another four max potions essentially. We're just stalling them out. They can't take the prizes that they want to because we're trying Cassius's and Suicunes and Whale Lords and stuff like that. So the deck just becomes really, really annoying to verse if you aren't hitting really hard. Uh, basically, the one big counter to this deck would be probably Verizian Genesect, in my opinion. Just because they hit for weakness on us. But, who knows? It can't be, like, said for sure. So far, the deck seems like it's really good, and I love playing this deck. So, yeah, if you guys want to see it, come by the live stream next time. And I'll probably be playing it, so, yeah. But moving on. Four Cassius, and then we're running two Hue. 
Uh, makes your opponent discard cards if they have a big hand. Let's say someone choruses for 9 and you play Hue, they have to discard 4 cards in their hand. Even if you have to discard 1, it's, way, it's worth making them discard those cards because they have to spend resources to get those cards back, which means they have to thin their deck out even more, which is a terrible thing for them. And then we're running the two Lysander. Occasionally, you just need to Lysander something out on the bench that can't do nothing, and they just sit there and they're just like, wow, I really hate versing this deck at the moment. And you're just like, yeah, this deck really stalls, so why not? And then we're running 3N just for a little bit of draw support. Sometimes you don't really draw what you really need to, so you just run the 4N. But usually, we usually get what we need to. You usually open up a Whale Lord or a Suicune, and from there on, you're pretty much gold. And then. We're running four Pokemon Fan Club. We don't run Ultra Ball in this deck because we really don't want to discard anything and really search through our deck all that fast because we don't want to be the ones to deck out. So we run the four Fan Club, and it's basically you can oh you can grab one Pokemon if you need to. You don't have to grab the two, so it doesn't really matter in that sense. And plus, we run nothing but basic Pokemon, so there's no reason for us to do that. Plus, it's only one card that we're spending instead of four technically with Ultra Ball. Technically, it's up to three that we can spend with Pokemon Fan Club, but usually we just spend two. We use the card and we grab a Pokemon, if that makes sense, compared to Ultra Ball where we had to discard two, use the Ultra Ball, and then grab a Pokemon if we wanted to. So that's four. So the Fan Club's really good in this deck. You can VS Secret it back too, so you can never run out of Pokemon, even after you Sacred Ash, stuff like that. So keep that in mind when you're playing this deck. Then we're just running one shot on it. It helps with a little bit of draw. We didn't want to run 4N because sometimes you don't want to let your opponent draw outs and stuff like that. So we just run the one Shauna. Then we're running three Skylet. Skylet just grabs your Max Potions, your Megaphones, your Trick Shovels, your VS Seekers, your Stadium. So why not run Skyla? Skyla is pretty good in this deck. Then we're running four Team Flare Grunt. I think Team Flare Grunt is really, really, really powerful in this deck. If you verse against Toad, Toad's only going to hit you for 50 already. Then you're running Rough Seas on top of that, so he's only running, hitting you for 20. And then if he has Verbank Laser, so now he's back up to 50 damage, if you get what I'm saying. But now we can just stop all of that, be like, DCE, goodbye, Team Flare Grunt. What are you going to do now? They have to continually have DCEs, which is really hard sometimes in Toad, to continually have the DCEs. So they kind of get stuck and slow down, and you just kind of rough seize off the damage and max potions and stuff like that. So there's really not much they can really do against this deck. I think this deck is a really good meta call right now, but I think after Nationals, there will be a lot more Vrizzy and Genesect covering the meta, just because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to play Whale Lord. So... Be ready for that. That That's my predictions. And then we're running one Zerosic. It's just really good. We can discard float stones, discard DCEs. So essentially we have like eight things to discard double colorless energy, which is really popular in this meta. So it's a really good meta call, if that makes sense. Then onto the stadiums, we're running four rough seas. We just heal 30 damage. We love that. We never deck out that way. So that's what we do. And then we're running two Silent Lab. Sometimes you want to open up Silent Labs just so they can't turbo with like Shaman and stuff like that. Because Riotu and stuff, if you don't draw well, if you don't get your max potions and stuff, you can still lose this game. It, it may seem like we have so much power to come back into the game, but sometimes you don't get your fan clubs and you don't get your Whale Lords or something like that, if that makes sense. You open up a Suicune into Riotu with no other bench Pokemon, and you kind of have a dead hand. It just kind of happens sometimes. It's going to happen. So Silent Lab can be really, really good in this deck, and it's really beneficial. So moving on to the last four cards in our deck, we are running four Hard Charm. It just reduces our damage by 20, so it makes tax against us pretty lightweight, especially with rough season play. So this card's really important to this deck because you don't want to be taking a lot of damage on your Waylords. You want to be able to build up consistent damage to Max Potion or AZ it off, if you get what I mean. So the Hard Charm helps with that. Same with the Rough Z. And yes, we are running zero energies in this deck just because we don't want to attack. We don't want to take prizes because that means we can get end to lower hand sizes, if that makes sense. And it would just make us lose overall because we won't be able to draw into the resources that we need to. See, we're not running really any draw supporters except for... And in Shauna, you could say Skyla is, but I wouldn't really consider it. It's more of a grab a resource in this deck. So you got to pay attention for that. This is the entire deck at Nationals. I don't know how well to do it. As I make this deck, the finals are going on right now. 
and I'm even watching it on my other monitor. So, if you guys like this deck, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys dislike it, I can understand why. It's kind of a uh, stallier deck, and it might be the new meta for a little bit, which will kind of suck until probably Max Potion goes out of the format. But hit the dislike if you dislike it. Tell me why you don't like this deck. And, yeah, we'll see you guys on Tuesday for Analytical Tuesdays. We're probably going to go into some huge gameplay with this deck on Tuesday just because I think it's a really uh, technical deck. So we'll go over to some, some of the plays that you make throughout the deck, stuff like that. So we'll see you guys then. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.